Hello guys, here is another tutorial on the Hitchcock Zoom. Uh, it's the cinematic uh, feature uh, that uh, Hitchcock used in his uh, movie Vertigo late in 1958. So uh, I just came out with the idea why not to recreate it. Found the mathematical uh, formula which uh, can help us to not go with the magic numbers and to make it work as you saw it from the demo. So let's get started. Uh, the basic idea uh, in Unreal Engine uh, here is to simultaneously uh, change two values, the distance between the camera, the camera and the character and the uh, field of view of our camera. So basically uh, increasing or decreasing uh, the fourth also uh, comes with the increasing or decreasing the lens between the camera and the character. You can uh, go uh, to the internet and see uh, the uh, full uh, like description how it works, theory and etc. etc. So uh, I made it to work with the third person uh, template. Uh, actually, what I have here, my approach is to have an actor on the scene. Let me show you. Yeah. Uh, it's actually uh, yeah, the simple actor with the collision box inside. Once you overlap it, uh, the effect will trigger. It's up to you to decide whether to go with this uh, approach or not, but for me it's uh, a pretty much impressive and immersive way to uh, show up the new area when the character uh, discovers it or like to start the encounter. So, uh, yeah, box collision with the custom preset, you know everything but overlap the pawn. Uh, and as you can see, I have the uh, timeline which actually uh, fires twice. Uh, the first one is to zoom it in or zoom it out. Then we have a, some sort of delay. Uh, I don't like to use delays, I use timers. They uh, like, I trust them more. Also good practice. Uh, and uh, after a so, uh, sort of small delay, I have uh, also zoom in or zoom in out effect. So two stages, actually three. Uh, like, uh, for instance, zoom in, delay, zoom out. Or Zoom out, delay, zoom in. Uh, as for the timeline, it's the simple uh, like uh, line on the graph with uh, auto smooth on both uh, endpoints. The lens is one, but if you uh, go with this setup of the play rate, where you uh, have the division one, um, like. Uh, if you divide one by the, uh, for instance, uh, any value of uh, time that you are going to produce to uh, the play rate, it will uh, end up like the normal seconds. So, on the end begin play, I need to set the play rate. Uh, it's also instance editable, uh, so you can uh, like. Uh, go to the world outliner and uh, make it work uh, right from here. So each uh, actor has its own uh, values. Uh, next thing is uh, to uh, store the uh, reference to our player. Then uh, we can uh, or we should, due to that we don't use uh, the interfaces here, uh, um, it's actually not the most pretty way how to manage the logic, but uh, for this case uh, it will work. So I need to store the initial uh, field of view and the lens between character and camera. It's also called uh, camera boom. Uh, so I can uh, go back to these values when the effect uh, ends. Next thing here is my uh, like visual sugar. So once I overlap with, <coughs> sorry, 
uh, with a collision box, uh, I disable input, then I uh, like uh, want to uh, add the widget, also you saw it from the demo, so it's not the important part uh, of the tutorial, but you can go and make the same. Uh, also I'll leave the sample project that you can see right here, uh, under the link to the video. So, uh, then I play uh, effect, I store alpha, uh, so to make the graph more uh, like clear one, without any uh, overlapping wires. Uh, and I use lerp uh, between the initial uh, field of view and the target one. Target one is uh, the value that we need to uh, end up with. So, as you can see, let me show you. So, uh, target for for each element. Uh, one second. Uh, are different, like 150 and 30. Also, effect uh, in our time. It means that uh, this time uh, is taken to play the first and the end section of the uh, timeline also can be uh, different and of course text so uh, delta 4 is the field of view that changed over time using the alpha and I learned between the initial fourth and target fourth next thing is to set field of view for our camera and depending on this actually delta 4 you need to calculate the distance uh, between the camera and our character. For this I created the simple function. It's the pure one and this is the computation uh, I uh, implemented for to, to work with Unreal. So basically the formula you can uh, see uh, or you can find uh, on the internet is uh, this one. So, uh, width divided by two tangents uh, that is multiplied by uh, one and a half of your fourth. But, uh, to make it work with Unreal, also uh, the formula comes with the radians and I use the degrees. Uh, I use this uh, formula. So, initial moon lens is the distance between uh, our character and camera. And it should be initial, because the uh, width between them should not be uh, changed uh, in the formula and uh, tangent multiplied by uh, delta 4 multiplied by 0 0.5 uh, also because uh, it's tangent uh, it uh, pretty much works uh, correctly if the field of view initial field of view is uh, 90 degrees uh, you can adjust the uh, camera boom uh, lens, but uh, yeah, so you can adjust the camera uh, boom lens, uh, it will actually change the uh, distance, but you should leave the fourth as it is. You should only change the fourth for the uh, volumes that you have on your scene, so it's the target fourth. Uh, what else? Yeah, so another one, right after I have set up the field of view, I need to set the target arm lens. On the finish, uh, you can also see that I have back out done. Uh, it's uh, the boolean, uh, which uh, like depends, uh, like depending on the value of this boolean, I have two different uh, times, two different uh, functions. So, first one, because uh, like if we have the play and reverse, finish uh, will end up with two events. The one is for the play, the second one is for the reverse. So, uh, back out done by default is false, and when it's uh, false, I go with this function. It's uh, reversing the animation. Why, uh, while I reverse the animation, I'm setting back out down to true. 
And then when the finish will come, this condition will uh, be withdrawn and I will go with another one. Uh, it's enable play input, it's this event. So it's enabling back my inputs, uh, removing the, uh, if I have uh, the digit with the text and actually uh, deleting uh, this actor because I don't need to have uh, the vertical effect uh, twice or more times because uh, it's only one to make it immersive. And that's actually it, that's how it works. So. Uh, I can show you like a little bit of this uh, widget. By default, it's the simple text, uh, and I have animation. Uh, so as you can see, render opacity by default is zero, and on this point that is one, one, and zero. So it made it, uh, it makes it to fade in and fade out. Uh, the text is variable. And here on the reconstruct, as you can see from this point, I provide text uh, from the uh, outline. So it's setting up text and play animation. <coughs> so if you want to do this, also go with insert editable and export and spawn. So when you create the uh, widget, you can provide the text. And that's how it works. So you can go and add multiple areas. It will always work fine. Different variations. It's quite good for the uh, narrative horror games or games like Souls, as I told you before, to introduce the new area to the player. So just go and experiment. Uh, so one more thing also. As I told you, initial 490, uh, camera boom, initial camera boom can be different, it doesn't matter. And uh, if these conditions uh, are both true, uh, the target for uh, the end target for for each volume can be different numbers. Because uh, if you don't do this, uh, tangent will uh, like this operation here, this computation will uh, return uh, the values not uh, quite equally from what it starts. So if it starts from 0 0.43, goes up to 1 and uh, back out, it won't be uh, 0 0.33. There will be a little difference, but the division for this difference will uh, end up with uh, huge uh, artifacts. So I hope you like this tutorial. Uh, yep. Something like this. Uh, as always, uh, subscribe. I have Patreon, I have Discord. Everything is under the video. And see you soon.